Hi, hi, performer. I so love seeing you here. We're recording this now. It is the beginning of the year, but no matter when you're watching this, it's going to be helpful. What we do not want for you is for you to come to the end of this year feeling disappointed at yourself, not having progressed, not having achieved your goals. We don't want that. That is why today I will be sharing with you how you can actually design your dream year. This is Maria Linden, mentor and high performance coach, helping you to reach success and fulfillment. Okay, today's topic then, how to design your dream year. It is important for you to remember that you are a powerful manifester. So the more that you realize this and actually start to co-create with this, the easier it will be for you to manifest and design your dream year. I'm going to walk you through now three steps that you can use when designing and planning for these dream years of yours. The first step uh, is for you to create clarity. So here you will create clarity about your goals for this year. So if you have a piece of paper, write down these goals. I would say three goals or maximum, maximum five. But let's say you decide on three goals for this year, the three most important and juicy goals, okay? And then you write them at the top of this paper in the upper corner, okay? In this step also, I would encourage you also to actually divide these uh, yearly goals into a little bit smaller goals, not necessarily like monthly and weekly, but at least quarterly goals. So that you know, okay, so where will I be in three months from now? Where will I be in six months from now? Where will I be nine months from now and so on. And uh, I would also like to point out the importance of you having quarterly goals is also that it will help you to stay focused and dedicated because many times change doesn't happen overnight. And that is why it's so important for you to give yourself a little space, to give yourself a little time to actually also work towards your goals and make things come into form. Okay, so that was step number one. Moving on now to step number two. Woo -hoo! And here it will be about your being. So when I talk about high performance, it's the balance between your doing and your being. But we're gonna start with your being. So before rushing into and just like acting on everything and taking action and so on, I want you to just like stop for a minute now and I want you to draw what I call a timeline. So a horizontal line. And here at the end, I also want you to draw a little arrow. In the beginning, this is the present moment. This is where you are right now, okay? And here at the end, this is where you're gonna be at the end of this year. So now I want you to uh, uh, divide this timeline into four pieces. So you have one for each quarter as we talked about. And now in this step, I want you to assign time for your being, meaning for you to recharge your energy, for you to relax, for you to let go of certain things, for you to have a holiday, and uh, for you to give yourself permission to do the things that actually recharges your energy and fuels your joy. Depending on what works for you, this might be, for example, you might need to go on a trip somewhere. Or for example, you might schedule going to one week uh, a retreat, a yoga or a meditation retreat. Or it could be as simple as, okay, knowing that you're going to go to a spa or a hotel weekend. Um, or if you're a person who recharges when you meet your friends, then perhaps that is what you need to assign time for and actually give yourself permission to enjoy. So start with this step, because once you're going into the year, you know, a lot of things are going to happen and you're probably going to forget about this or not prioritize. So that is why we start with your health, your well-being and your joy as the foundation. So now you have done step number two, or at least heard about it. And what I also want to add here also as a little tip is for you also to have, you can call it a backup plan, but I would suggest instead that you say that you have also other options and alternatives. So let's say that you have scheduled and say, okay, I want to go on a five week uh, mm, trip to Bali, for example, like in six months. But when you are getting closer, you realize that it's actually not going to be possible for you to go on this five week trip to Bali. Well, what could be another option that still gives you, you know, the feeling of being rested or recharged and happy and so on? Uh, could it be that perhaps you go there, for example, two weeks or three weeks, 
Or could it be, for example, that you go to another destination? Uh, or could it be, so, so just continue to ask yourself smart questions uh, so that you have also other options, but still get that feeling and that rest and recovery. Okay. Uh, also know that this does not have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be about like uh, going on these like really, really long trips. Sometimes it's also about you just allowing yourself to have some fun and just rest and like hang out with your friends and so on and to really, really, really be present in that. Moving on now, my friend, to step number three. So this is the third and last step. And of course, now we're going to get into the doing part. So we talked about the doing and the being. And here it's about you taking action and knowing, I should say, at least what to take action on. So instead of trying to run around and do everything at the same time, just like, Rah! you know, I want you to be focused. I want you to be dedicated. I want you to simplify it. So on this timeline now that you have been drawn, I want you now to write down and mark also, of course, the most important events. The most important events, for example, it could be that you are having a hosting an event for your customers or for prospects and so on. Or it could be, for example, that you have a launch event of some sort, physically or online for a product or service. Uh, or it might be something totally different, uh, but still it's about important events. Or perhaps you are leading a webinar or you're going to do a speaking gig or perhaps you are like hosting some sort of like little gathering and so on but still you will mark these important events here in your uh, on your timeline so that you will have an overview of what is happening and also what you are going to focus on because when new opportunities come they always will you can decide more easily okay is this something that we should prioritize or no, we should just keep what we actually have planned. So this will be so helpful for you because it also means that you will not go in there and try to just fit in like 50 events that same month, uh, but instead you might just have one per month. So my friend, I so, so hope that this will help you. Take some time when ha having watched this video to actually create this uh, timeline and to really just like create this clarity and overview for yourself. This is also something that we teach our students and our members and my clients also where we have a little more advanced version of this, but it really helps you to create that structure of yours. But just by doing these three steps, it will help you to focus on your goals that you have written up here, to see also where you are, like on the timeline, to also know and prioritize when you need to just be and rest, and also know what to focus on, what to take action on when it comes to the most important events and milestones, I would say. Now, my friend, great job. Woo, woo, woo. Let us now summarize what we have been talking about today. Okay, so when you want to design your dream year, these are the three steps that you can follow. Step number one, clarify and decide on your top three goals for this year or your maximum five uh, top goals. That is step number one, okay? Here you can also divide your uh, yearly goals into quarterly goals, for example. So little sub goals. Step number two here in this process when you're designing your dream year is for you to block time and mark time, assign time, I should say, for your being. Meaning when you're gonna have a holiday, when you're gonna go on vacation, when you perhaps might be going on a trip or when you're just gonna have a little short retreat or a weekend or something to just like really just like recharge your batteries. Uh, step number three is, of course, for you then to decide on the most important uh, events and milestones. So these you will mark also on the timeline that you have been drawing so that you can create clarity, a calm and an overview of this year. That will help you to really get the most out of this year, to enjoy the process and also, bam, reach your goals for this year. My friend, I so, so hope that this will help you. And if you like this video, make sure you go to www.lindenmaria.com and sign up there for my newsletter. Because that way I will be able to send you my latest video with tips just like this one. Plus also some special gifts and secrets and bonuses that I only share with you in email. With all my heart, may this serve you. And remember this. You have the power to create miracles in your life and in your business.